Hi everyone and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is week seven in the Marguerite Miller uh, 2024 Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. Doesn't it look like Marguerite Miller? Well, it is, but I'm going to, I'm really excited about this and I want to show you what I've been working on. So over at my Patreon, I have my highest tier, which is called the Generous Giraffe. I have a special package that my patrons will receive um, once they join the Generous Giraffe and after three months they will receive a nice package from me. Things are starting to come together. I'm working in conjunction with my girlfriend who is very, very crafty. She's my, my seamstress. She's my sublimation gal for mugs and things like that. She makes me all kinds of wonderful, wonderful items. And I want to do a special package for uh, my patron if they sign up for the Generous Giraffe. So I have been, while I've been down and out with my foot, I've been, I make these every year for my daughter-in-law. I make one special felt heart ornament for her, for her tree, or if she wants to hang it somewhere else. And I thought, and on, on hers I write, I, I embroider the date in, okay? So she knows each year that whatever she gets um, that is the year I've given it to her. So I, I really, really love making these because it's all, a lot of them are embroidered. I use my regular um, embroidery thread. This is a special cotton. And I have my, my beads in here, my little pearl beads that you can see there. Uh, I have my little seed beads that I use. Then I use my ribbon embroidery. And I really love making these. So I have, I've been, I worked on these, you know, like I said, when I was down and out, I have 10 uh, made so far. And I, th I think 10 will be good to start me out. But I just wanted to show you these here. Um, some have a button on the back. Some do not have a button on the back. This one does have a button. Um, but I wanted to show you these because I just think they are so pretty. And I really, really enjoy working on them. So those are the those are the felt hearts that would come in the package. And then these here, I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit. These are beautiful, beautiful uh, storage bags that uh, my girlfriend and I designed, and they're all different. And when you do receive a uh, package. This will be filled with a lot of fun ephemera as well. Um, I'm not showing that because I don't know what I will be putting in there as of yet. I would, I'm would. i also going to be doing a giveaway on my Patreon probably in July that will consist of a um, bag such as this. It will consist of a heart and I have a really, really cool cut-up book that I want to show you as well that will be part of this. So this is the ephemera book that will be part of the giveaway. All right, this does not go with the, the generous giraffe package. This is going to go... This will be in a giveaway, all right? So I'll have a giveaway over, like I said, either June or July, all right? However it's going to work out for me. Um, and this will be placed. Now these are wonderful sizes. These are 12, 12 by 14. And see, they're all lined inside. And this is a um, vinyl that my girlfriend gets with all these designs on it. And this book can slip right in here. So you can see we designed these so you can store a cut and paste book in here. You can store um, eight and a half by 11 digital kits if you want to in here uh, and they'll be protected. So I just love these here. So I'm going to have a giveaway at some point uh, when I 
when I reach 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I will have a nice giveaway. And it will include one of these books, a zippered pouch. I uh, most likely will um, do something else. Um, but it'll be a really nice package. And I love this book. I just think it's, there's so, I had seen this from another gal when she did a flip through of a bunch of cut and paste magazines. So I w also wanted to show you that. And this I, I purchased on Amazon. So if you want to check that out, because this designer has quite a few uh, books. It's Keely, I believe you pronounce it, Keely O'Brien. And her work is just lovely. So I wanted to show you these pouches because they are they are just fantastic. I just love them. And Lee does such uh, wonderful, that one was already open, wonderful work. And her and I are in the process of creating other items uh, for my Patreons and for giveaways on my YouTube channel that I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, go check out my tiers, and um, again, I just wanted to show you what I would be doing here. Announce I'll be having a giveaway on YouTube once I reach 4,000 subscribers, and most likely, probably July, I will have a nice giveaway over on my Patreon. So let's get to this week's collage. Now, it's this is going to be really strange because I just finished a video I thought I was doing so well, and I thought I was doing week seven when I actually did week eight. So you're going to get a, I guess I'm going to do a two for one, all right? Uh, I most likely will publish both of these on, on Sunday, because I, um, I really messed up. So... I figured I'll do a two for one and then the following Sunday I won't have anything. I will put, maybe I'll put a surreal collage in for that week or whatever, but that was my bad. Um, I'm going away, which I explain in week eight and I'm just, I have so many piles on my desk and I'm trying to get caught up and get things done that, um, I just obviously got confused. So, all right, so this week is something used for a while. Oh my gosh, I can't even read this. Something used for or while traveling, washi tape, a piece of letter or postcard, something with a distinct scent or smell, rubber stamping in any color but black, and sheet music. So I'm going to use everything except the piece of letter or postcard. So I'm going to take out my paper here. And maybe I can get it right, you know, now with this because it's just crazy. So something you, and I had to think about this. And again, I wanted to try to do something out of the box. Uh and I didn't want a car, you know, something used for traveling. I didn't want, I didn't want a vehicle. I didn't want a suitcase. I didn't want a Thule carrier. I was really trying to think. I didn't want a handbag. I was trying to think of something that, you know, we traveled a lot with our children when they were young. And... You know, we would travel from store to store. We would travel, you know, we'd travel up the street, around the block. And the one thing that I always used when I traveled with my children was my hand. And I always had them holding my hand. It didn't matter where we were going, if we were going in the doctor's office, whatever. When we traveled, I always, they used my hand, and I would guide them as to where to go and where not to go, 
and such. So I, using a mother's hand, something used for or while traveling, I'm using a mother's hand to travel with her child and guide her and all of that. So I have this image. It's from Daphne's diary. And I think what I'm going to have to do, and I, I want to apologize in one of my other collages where I used the uh, pencil for the, I had a gal, I just noticed a comment and she said, I've looked and looked and looked in my Daphne diary and I cannot find where the pencil is. And normally what I will, would do is show you the magazines I got them out of, but because I was laid up, and I couldn't make videos, I decided I have all of my next 20 weeks all pulled. And I don't know what magazines. I do know where the pencil came from, so I can look and let you know where what, what magazine that came from, what issue, and what year. I will try to list. I will show you all the magazines in the next video that I've used and the years and the issues, okay, the numbers. So that that may be of some help. And I and I apologize if I'm if I'm making this hard on anyone. But I will I will do that. So all right, so something used while traveling, that is a mother's hand. I have my washi tape here. Something with a distinct scent or smell. Well, I clipped, these are little images from a page in Daphne's magazine. These are from a lemon tree, all right? And lemons definitely have a distinct smell. So I'm going to use them. And then rubber stamping anything other than black. I have my rubber stamps here. I can get them. Here we go. I have my alphabet. And I pulled my Dusty Concord, which is a lavender, because so I figured I want to stamp something down here, and that would go well with this. And then I have my sheet music. So I thought I would just rip and tear some little pieces of sheet music that I could put on and around here. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use my washi tape because I want to put it up at the top here. And I picked this really cool washi tape from Paris with a Paris theme. Because what do they do in Paris or anywhere in Europe? They walk. They walk and walk and walk and walk. They also drive, but this is old and it's kind of sticky. The stickiness is... And I guess I'm just going to have it like this. The stickiness is really... Uh... And you can see when it's old, it does tear like that. What I try to do, I'll give you a little tip. Even though it did tear on me, I have to start using some of this older washi tape because it's just... It's falling apart on me. So what I... Obviously, that isn't where it ripped off. I do want to show you this little tip. Let's see if I can find. You're probably saying, come on, come on, come on, I don't need to do that. Hmm. Crowd. Well, I will take a break towards the end, and I will show you this little tip <laughs> that I do um, when it's old. Usually it works. This time I did it on the side of my desk. This time it didn't. But you can see this is getting all dried up, and it's just not working very well at all. But we will... We'll, we'll play with that afterwards. So I have my washi tape on the top here. And I'm going to take some pieces of this sheet music. 
my son ran this off because he plays piano and obviously he was using going to use this for he needed some instead of probably taking his whole book to piano lessons he probably was just taking some pieces or some uh, copies photocopies I thought I would just do some strips, but first I want to see, I want to see if I'm going to finish cutting this out or not. I'm leaving a white background, because I just think it looks, I think it looks better than if I were to, and I'm just going to put it over some of these over these lines here where they're going to be and I think I'm gonna leave this white I don't know maybe yeah I think I'm going to leave this like this because I don't want any of this coming through the bottom here so let us I know I have to come on each side, so. So I hope everyone is doing really well today. I'm going to do it this way, like this. I know it's upside down, but it doesn't matter. And I hope you're all healthy. And you're crafting, you're, you've been crafting up a storm and a lot of new ideas coming to you. put that up there. I think it just adds a little bit, you know, more interest to have this sheet music ripped and torn like this on the, just adds a, a little different element. I'm going to just move this down over here a little bit more. And again, I am not using any any inks, any distressed uh, Ranger ink to, I just want this to kind of be a subtle background here. With a few of this, this sheet music popping out here and there. almost like the it's almost like music floating in the air while they're walking okay and I think that might be I think that might be just enough. I want to stamp down here. I don't think that we really need to have so have such a busy page. Just something that because this is going to this is your focal point right here. And these just are little accents to add to that. All right. All right, so now I'm going to get, I'm going to roll this back because I don't like it when it's curled there. All right, so I think I can get her down because I do not, I'm not going to have anything underneath, but maybe this week 
if I pay attention. I could fold that in half. I could fold it in fours and I could just slide that up in under there. I just have to remember or maybe I can have it slide I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I've, I've been thinking about this. I'm going to put these in the back, and I've taken my, I'll show you how I'm going to stamp it. I found my date stamper, my vintage uh, little office supply here, and I'm, I'm putting the number of the, and that's how I realized I went out of order. I'm putting the date, you know, I'm putting like, I'll show you, February 7, 2024. I don't care. I mean, I'll continue with the date. That's not the day I did it. It's, it's, I'm looking at it as February number 7, 2024. Um, and then I can put all these in the back of the book. And then if I, you know, if I want to know, oh, well, you know, what, what are the prompts? Not that I'm going to want to know what the prompts are. I can go back and I can look. So, for example, this one is 7, so I have it set for 07. And I'm going to just test it on this little backdrop here. Yeah, so this is um, February 7, 2024. Again, not necessarily the date that I'm making it. Obviously, this is February 7, but I'm looking at this as... Uh, number seven of 2024, and then I'm stamping this, all right? So then I can m match them up. So I will take this. So this is something that, you know, it's a nice little tip that maybe you might like to do. I'm just going to stamp it right down here like that. Then I'll know that it's number seven of 24. And then I can just file this back away and not have to worry about putting it on the page across from me or tucking it in because I'm not good at tucking it in. So, okay, so now we have our, uh, we've got our washi tape, something with a distinct scent or smell. Well, that's where our little lemon, our little lemons come in from the lemon tree. I was on the phone yesterday with my girlfriend, and I have so many things planned. Um, and at the end of the year, all of my patrons over at Patreon, they're going to get a limited edition mug that my girlfriend and I are going to design. So everybody's going to get a mug. So we were talking about that yesterday. They won't be sent out until October. Um, and she does beautiful sublimation. So she will be doing those. And then I have her working on a really, she gave me a really cute calendar that she made for my birthday. And I've ordered those really cute calendars from her. And they're going to be sent to... everyone that has signed up um, in February. So those are really, I'm really excited about those. So she's making those for me. So yeah, I got a lot of fun, fun stuff. I can't put the calendars in the giveaway because half of the year would be over with but I think I'd like to do that for each year because they are adorable. She made me one with all golden doodles. So that kind of ripped off. So we're going to put that there like that. Okay. 
All right. And then, see, isn't that pretty? It's just simple and pretty. And then my rubber stamping says rubber stamping in any color but black. So like I said, I picked out the Dusty Concord and I'm going to write, I'm going to stamp a word right down here in the bottom that represents this mother and daughter. At least I think it's a mother and daughter. It could be her niece. It could, she could be taking care of her girlfriend's daughter. It could be a friend. Could be a foster child. Okay, so I need an E because when I stamp, I always stamp. If I want my word to end up right in this area here, if I want the last, if I want the last letter here, I start stamping here and then I work my way back. If I start here and then all of a sudden it ends here, then I, I wouldn't like that. So we are going to. I'm going to take my smaller one for this. So we're going to start with the E. And I wanted this to be a little bit, you know, these are supposed to be cursive. And you're supposed to be able to connect them together. So we'll see how I do. I know this morning hasn't really gone that great for me, you know, doing this out of, out of sequence. But... What the who? What the who? That's life, right? There was a reason it happened. Why, I don't know, but obviously there's a reason. Okay. I need the O. And I like these stamps because, you know, of them being cursive, you can tie them together. It's almost like welding. If you have a Cricut machine and you weld your words together, I love welding my words when I'm scrapbooking because the word comes out, you know, in one whole piece instead of individual letters. Oh, this worked out really well because I've got that there. Love. That worked out really well. That was one, that's one positive thing that worked out well for me today without any hiccups or bumps in the road. Okay, so that, that is this, another of this week's. Season this fun, you're getting a two for one. You are getting a two for one. So th this is completed, and I really like this. I just think it's so sweet. And I'm really, really enjoying these Daphne Diary magazine images, making these collages. And I hope you are, too. I hope I, you know, I know a lot of gals would take the sheet music and they would use it all on the back of their page or they might make a pocket but I like ripping and tearing like I said it's kind of like a floating song while they're they're walking along I just think this is really pretty very pretty I, I hope that you've I hope I've been, I've been able to give you a few tips um, with this so all right something used for or while traveling is the mom's hand washi tape up here a uh, piece of, didn't do the postcard, something with a distinct scent or smell, which are the lemons off of the lemon tree, rubber stamping right here, and then my sheet music, a little rips and tears. So that is it. I want to thank everybody. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I am so happy to have you here. I've had such positive feedback, and I'm just, I'm ecstatic. I'm just so, so happy. And 
for all of my subscribers that have been with me. My son reminded me, I've been, I started this in 2019, so I'm going on five years. And I said, no. I said, it can't be that long. He says, mom, take a look at your date. And I'm like, wow. So just in the last year, you know, my my channel has really exploded and I have all of you to thank for that. I don't know what has changed, um, but I, I couldn't be happier and I think I'm growing. I'm growing with you and I think hopefully you can see, you know, a difference in my work. I want to bring new, new collage art, you know, to my channel and for everybody to think out of the box, that is my most important message to all of my subscribe subscribers. Just look at this in a different way. And when you start a collage, you don't have to do it in an hour or a half hour or don't feel rushed. Take your time. Look at, um, you know, look at your magazines over the course of a day. If you have, if you can, you know, on a rainy day, or you're just not feeling too well, get out the prompts. Even if you find prompt, you know, week 19, or you week, find week 15, or something ahead, if you are having a really good, don't say, well, I, I can't, I can't pull that, because I have to look for week seven. And that's the other thing. If you do not have a channel, and you're not making videos, who cares if you go in order? It doesn't matter. Take a look at everybody else's work. See how they view the prompts, all right? Now, here's a perfect example. Pam over tatter at Tattered Paper and Lace. She does incredible collage work and makes amazing journals. And I was so happy to hear. Pam had made, I think it was week six. I, yeah, it was week week six, she said that she had created a collage. She didn't like it. She didn't like it at all. And she saw Mish over at Mish Crafty, what she had done and something sparked in her. And she's like, oh my goodness, you know, my grandfather worked on the railroad. I can do something like Mish did. And she said, I just changed it right up. I just went and made a new collage. And I loved the collage that she made for week six. So don't think that, especially if you don't, if you're doing these on your own, work out of order. You don't have to go in order. And as you gather your, your images and supplies, make a little pile. That's what I do. I've got, this is my pile here. And, you know, I've got week nine, I have week 10, and I just start piling things on. If I don't have all of the, the prompts, then I go back, I take a look, you know, I might look for something or I keep it in the back of my head as to, hmm, okay, well, I'm looking for a dog or I'm looking for, and as I go through magazines, I, you know, I pull that out of my, my file and I'll look for something. So, um, yeah, so just think out of the box. And I'm I, again, I'm so glad that my all of you enjoy these. And again, a, th a special thank you to everyone uh, that over at Patreon that is is supporting me where I can go out and I can buy some extra supplies or or new Daphne diary magazine to help you um, because it's all about helping you. It's this isn't. This isn't about me. I love crafting and I love making all of these books, but I feel more of a teacher and I want to help everybody else out there to expand on their collage process and how they look at things. So again, thanks everybody. And if, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and leave a comment because you know I love answering all my comments and thanks again for sitting around my craft table with me um i just you know love y'all so thanks everybody and i will see you in my next video all right bye-bye